video we plastic in my wheels with uh, some gloss fire as well it turned out really great so i hope you guys enjoy watching so i That's probably just need to get a flathead, stick it in this groove right here, just pry out, it should pop off, catch it, makes it a lot easier. So I'm using the 21 millimeter right here to get these off. You want to break them obviously before you jack the car up. We got the car on stands here. Puppies, man. Much faster. Cleaning up the wheels before you spray them. You want them nice and clean to get a good uh, stick with the plastic dip, of course. So these two are done cleaning. Nice and clean. See the shine. You're using isopropyl to clean them because it evaporates quick. So because you, you don't want to be dipping onto the surface that's kind of moist or it hasn't dried. So if you use something else, you're going to want to wait longer for it to dry before you dip it because it's not gonna stick as well as it could. Might mess up the texture as well. edges so we get some less overspray. Sorry about the fan noise but it's 90 degrees outside so we're burning up in here it's humid as hell too. So we're gonna use these place them there. We got a whole other pack right here. All the dip. We got four cans of black, two cans of glossifier. It's back there you can't see it. This is like our whole paint department right here. Uh, this guy's a handful.
check this out. These lights turn on for when we're watching movies and the lights are off. The bathroom's over there, so if we walk past right here, they should turn on. There it is. Oh, one at a time. Ooh. That's awesome. Oh, oh. Who loves this? He loves that fucking sound. What? <laughs> it turns to me. Like a it's a big joy. Where's glass right there? Fireplace, is it? So this is Yogi. He's a cockapoo. We got him on like April 12th. He's around four and a half months old. His name is Yogi. Like a yogi bear, because he looked like a teddy bear when I first got him. His favorite thing is tug of war. He's just dragging around sometimes. <laughs> he slips. So we were worried about how we were going to spray these center caps that come off, but first we were thinking we were going to put a card in this divot, but then once we took them off, we could see that you could just unscrew all these, so we're going to do that right now. You just grab the rest of them with the, the drill. Take these off and see what it looks like after. Enjoy I don't know if we have to take all of these outside ones off or just these two inside ones to get this ring out. But I don't know if that's the center cap or if it's this whole fake look. You only need to take off the two center ones. You don't need to do this whole thing. Because if you look, you're going to have to spray this back part so that you can get a clean look. So this, this is actually perfect. We're going to hit these next. We almost completely forgot about these, but it was a good thing we remembered. Just like that, it falls out. Doesn't really matter, you don't need to keep track of which one's which, it's all the same. Puppy chain spots. Went under the table. <laughs> Don't forget to clean these too so you can get a good finish on this one as well. I'm gonna go grab the isoprobal and just rub these down before we start spraying them. Yeah, this stuff gives you a headache, so try not to inhale it too much. Like I mentioned before, isoprobal evaporates quick. That's like the main reason we use it for stuff like this. Makes it easier to work with. And if you use something that's kind of like more soapy, you have to dry it a lot better and it's just a whole other hassle. It's not that much more work, but we just found this that does enough of the job. And if people are wondering why I don't want to powder coat them, powder coating ends up costing like 70, 800 bucks and if you're gonna spend that much money, I'd rather just get new wheels. So for now, I'm just gonna, for the sake of aesthetics and protecting the wheels, I'm just gonna plasti dip them. So that's my reasoning behind it at least. Cause I mean, if you're gonna spend 800 bucks, you can spend a couple hundred dollars more and get like a decent set of wheels. I'll probably just wait till these tires are worn. And then I'll, whenever, instead of getting new tires for these wheels, I'll just grab new wheels, new set of tires as well. I have the 18s because I have the all-season all-wheel drive package, unfortunately. I mean, we're located in Chicago, so I mean, I kind of need the all-seasons. I could have gotten the 19s and changed the wheels, but, or not the wheels, changed the tires. But yeah, I thought that if I was going to spend a couple hundred bucks on tires, I'd rather just take the 18s, save on the tires, and just save up for an aftermarket set of wheels. They'll be lighter and look a lot better, too, probably. I think the next thing that comes after this is going to be obviously get the windows tinted. It looks kind of like a fishbowl right now. And after tints, I'm going to do springs. I was trying debating if I want to do uh, the springs first and then tints. I don't know. I kind of don't like that people can stare at me so much without any tints. And this car kind of gets a lot of attention between the color and 
people not knowing what it is and, and now that i have all the badges off people are always staring at it because they're trying to figure out what car it is no one really knows what this thing is and i have the 335i m sport white with a bunch of stuff done to it and people looked at that car but not nearly as much as this car and this car is like decent lot cheaper and a kia no one notice the beamer as much as this thing you don't want to wear a mask because that plastic smells pretty intense you're going to get a headache maybe if you're sensitive helps Remounting the wheels after they dried for a little bit, a couple hours. It's recommended to let them cure for around four hours. So I'm not gonna drive the car, but we're just putting them on just to see what it looks like now, because just to see, you know, a little impatient. Then you want to just go in order. Monster trucking. Look at these perfect circles. Oof. I'm gonna put these on still, but we might wait for these to dry a lot more before we stick them on because we don't want to chip them once we put them on. Or putting them on rather. them in the sunlight. This 
Suspension hasn't settled yet. I'm gonna have to drive on it before it goes down, but it looks like it's almost there. These are the 18s with all seasons. Looks like Patrick from SpongeBob.